you know, we wanted to set the tempo with our defense. We wanted to come out and establish ourselves. I wasn't sure how the girls would respond playing in the big arena. Uh, we had a nice shoot around today, and, but I was still a little concerned with how we'd shoot the ball. Um, our message to them was let's come out and grind it out on defense first and take the offense that comes to us. I thought the girls did a real good job of establishing our defense, taking their shooters off their spots, moving them, uh, making them work for everything. I think they only made one three, shot a dozen or so. Uh, it's a very good team. You know, used to shooting a three and used to getting the ball to their, to their best playmakers. I thought our girls did an excellent job of identifying the girls when they were on the floor and taking away what we had scouted. Um, I'm very pleased with the girls' effort. Talk about your strategy on uh, Caitlin Stone. It looked like you had Danielle Schrager, Danielle LeBrock, a couple other girls. And what were they trying to do on Stone today? <laughs> Basically, get keep her from touching the ball. Uh, we weren't. Um, you know, we, we wanted basically to keep her from hitting any threes. Uh, and the easiest way to keep her from hitting any threes was basically to keep her from touching the ball. I think most of the time we had assignments on her where she, uh, whoever was gardener, was in no help and basically face gardener. Um, you know, we had seen some of the things that she can do when she's able to put the ball up in rhythm. And, and if she, especially if she gets started early, we didn't want her to get started early. I thought the girls did an excellent job. And then we ran our substitutions and, and kept the pressure on her. Talk about your offense against their defense. I mean, they were in your face, but you did a good job of it running your offense. I don't know. Did we run offense? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll have to ask my assistant coaches if we ran offense. Most of our offense, I think, was opportunistic. We we didn't you know we didn't come out and really run a lot of sets, and when we did, it seemed like we weren't getting anything out of it. Um, we were just fortunate to get some breaks early, uh, attack the weaknesses, you know, and just let the girls play basketball. A lot of that just you know we did get a little transition, um, and then we had to grind it out second quarter. Um, but, you know, I think offensively, you know, we did have a couple mismatches at times. Kylie White had a nice mismatch. We tried to get her the ball a couple of times. Um, but, you know, all told, you know, we, we just tried to play defense and let the defense flow and, and see what the opportunistic offense. Um, I don't know. You have to ask the list whether the offense was working because most of the offense that I was concerned about was the first half, and that was furthest away from me, and I couldn't tell what they were running. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to start offense when – especially when he's really far down the floor and there's a lot of people cheering. But our offense has really started with our defense and establishing our tempo with our defense, trying to get that transition. But when we do slow down, we got to have leaders on the floor to step up and got to know what they're running based on what they're in. So I thought we handled their pressure well and fought through it to find their weaknesses and find the backside. You mentioned tempo. When you wanted to go fast, you went fast on them, and I think too fast for them. And you wanted to go half court set. I mean, you just had the tempo of the entire game. You, just, you established that. How, how important was that? We really focused on establishing tempo and attacking the basket when, when needed, and uh, being aware of like clock situations and finding that open person. But attacking the basket, it gets everybody else open. <clears throat> Troy, earlier this week, you talked about chatting with Tyson McLaughlin. Was there anything specifically that he told you that maybe helped you guys today? Tyson took all the administrative stuff of coming to Columbus off our table uh, and just kind of allowed us to coach and, and do you know prepare our scouting report. We didn't really talk X's and O's. You know, Tyson was very busy getting ready for, ready for his own tournament game. Um, but he did, you know, I appreciate the work he did because he was busy coaching and, you know, he did both jobs, the AD job, and he, you know, it wasn't, we didn't have skull sessions. He was busy with his skull sessions with his coaching staff, and we were busy with ours. But he did take most of the coming to Columbus, you know, the, the hotel stuff and the, all the ticket stuff, and he took care of all that and, and just let us do what we wanted to do as far as coach. These 20 point wins are all too common all season long, especially they don't, during the streak. So, what is, what is They don't feel like 20 point wins. <laughs> they, they feel like they're six and eight point games. They really do. I mean, you know, when you when you, you scout know? and prepare and you know what they're capable of, you're like, oh, man, they come down and they hit a three here and they get a steal and they hit a three and then, you know, I Did guess. Did you really not feel in control today? <laughs> I did when my coaching staff tells me, you know, we're okay, we're okay. But from my perspective, and especially here when you got the scoreboard directly over your head, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm watching to see our matchups, see who's playing great defense and, and see how we're handling the ball and, you know, I felt we were we were running our tempo the whole game. 
I thought we were, you know, even though uh, the first half, I think we were even on the um, offense or uh, rebounds. I, you could tell in the second half we were getting more rebounds. We were putting more pressure on them. They looked tired. We were able to rotate some people. Um, so, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't freaking out. But it's also a state semifinal game and anything can happen. And these, this team has come back from some big deficits in the district and regional finals, our regional games. So we wanted to make sure that we held them down the whole time. You know, you know, you get up like a 13 to 2 start. When did you guys feel like you were in control of this game? And you're playing your tempo, they had to play your style. Is there a point that you felt in control of this game, Aaron? Uh, right from the beginning, I thought that we had a good hold on it. And we came out hard and established our tempo. You can never really stay calm, I guess. You really just have to stay intense the whole game. And I feel like I just have to. Me and my team, we just keep the intensity up, and it feels like a close game the whole time. Speaking of a close game, in the third quarter, so they cut it to 15, and then you guys had like a 6 0 run to kind of bring it back up to 21. Did, at that point, did it start to feel like this was really going to happen? Yeah, I, I guess it, you can kind of calm down a little bit, but I don't know. With their pressure, it was hard to stay calm and everything, but we really had to be crisp on our passes and be aware of where everybody was at. It's just tough when the clock's winding down, and it seemed like that fourth quarter lasted about 45 minutes. Um, you know, we want them to make good passes. We were still trying to look for the basket, but it's not our—it's not something that we practice a lot of, of running a slow down or, or trying to get control of the game. I thought the girls did an excellent job when you know most of our offense flows from us running up and down the floor and putting pressure on it. It's sometimes a little difficult to completely shift to another gear and try and maintain a lead. I thought we did a good job. The problem with that is then once they start attacking, can you reestablish yourself and can you go to the hole and can you you know do that? And I think we hit Kylie going to the basket once. Uh, you know we were able to, to get a couple quick easy buckets that way, and I think that maybe took the pressure off of having to hold the ball for a while. But you guys have done so well tonight and in recent games that you just grab control of the game right off the bat and then you never let the other team get back in. Is is that when when before you go out of that locker room door, it's like. Is that your mantra, your motto, or something? Just because you've done it the last few games, you just you don't even let the other team have a chance, basically. I think that's our mantra. <laughs> 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 that's the message coming out. Um, for the most part, uh, you know, we we want to attack them before they attack us. We want to be we want to be establishing ourselves and getting after it defensively. Um, I thought the girls did a great job. You know, it's, we knew it was going to be a grind them out game early, but we wanted to make sure that. They didn't get any any easy buckets. Um, you know, you take away the free throws, which we had talked about and scouted about contesting but not following. But sometimes that's easier said than done. But you know, at one time I think they had half their points or a little over half their points were from the free throw line. So, yeah. So you know, it's it's a give a little, get a little. But uh, by the by the same token, they were challenged on almost every shot. So I'll take that. It's about 28 hours away. What do you know about Versailles? Not much. Uh, we got a little bit on them, and we'll find some more. Um, obviously, this is the biggest. This was the biggest game in school history to get here. We wanted to focus our attention and keep the girls focused on getting it done. Uh, there's a day to, day tomorrow to, you know, to get after it a little bit, and, uh, and uh, you know, we they did play a couple of opponents in the Western Buckeye League, so. You know, we know a little bit about them, and obviously we saw them play. They're they're a very good team. Um, Going to create some matchup problems for us, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Have you seen a team with that kind of height and length before? Does that does that serve as a comparable? Probably not somebody with both the the length. The, the you know they got some quick people. They got they got some length. They they're able to match up with some of our more athletic girls. A little different than the, some of the bigger girls that we faced coming through the tournament trail, but. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things look tomorrow when we start the scouting report, I guess.